Hey, welcome. Thank you for coming to listen to the Lichen Sclerosis Podcast. My name is Kathy, and this is our journal of learning about and living with lichen sclerosis. This is not a normal episode. I just wanted to come and update you on where I've been for the last, since April, May. If you listened to the last episode, you know I quit recording the podcast so that I can start the Lichen Sclerosis Support Network nonprofit. And I'm so proud to say that we are incorporated and we have our board and we're getting everything set up so that we can file for our 501c3. And we have big, big mission and vision for our nonprofit. And I'm so excited. I'm working with some wonderful people. And as always, we need the help of the community so that we can continue to grow and do all of the amazing things that, you know, we hope to do. So I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about what we're doing. I don't want to go too far into the woods because this is just a quick update. But I also want to let you know, I was in the hospital for a week. Uh, my husband caught COVID and passed it on to me. And um, I got COVID pneumonia, ended up in the hospital for a week. And I am recovering now. I got out, I want to say about the, it's been about three weeks now that I got out the hospital. Unfortunately, my husband got really sick as well. And he's been in the hospital for a month. And he was on a ventilator for about 15 days. And he just got off about a week and a half ago. And he has now been moved to a rehab center where he's going to continue to uh, to recoup and, and hopefully be home in about a week, a uh, week and a half. So that is what has been going on in my life. I hope yours has been way more healthier. I hope that you have uh, had a lot of less stress and that you are doing way better. As I talked about in earlier episodes, I did work full time and I was working 48 plus hours a week. And at one point, it was becoming really difficult for me to keep up with the podcast and keep up with my schedule at work. I was the sole breadwinner in the home. At one point, my husband saw that I was struggling and he saw what I was doing and he believed in what I was doing to the point where we discussed it and made the decision that I would not work anymore and he would go back to work so that I could focus full time on my advocacy and support and bringing you guys the information about LS. And so now without him working I don't know how long I will be able to continue doing my work before it becomes a financial burden on us. Some of the ladies in my group, the LS Warriors, have started a GoFundMe for our family to help with the financial burden that <laughs> this is wrecked onto our family because not only we do do we have to figure about bills and rent and food but we also have medical bills now that we didn't have before um so yeah that's fun but if you are so inclined to and you want to help support the podcast support me my family i will have the link to the gofundme in the description of this particular podcast episode i won't have it in any other episode if you do decide i thank you thank you thank you so much because it is truly something that obviously <laughs> we think about um you know, how long can we sustain this? Because he is going to have a very long road to recovery, being on a ventilator for that long. And just, you know, it, it, it just wrecks havoc on, havoc on his body. And he's still recovering from the ammonia. 
He's still on oxygen. He's learning how to walk again without the assistance of a walker, just building his strength up. And so they say his recovery can be anywhere from three to six months. And his job was a lot of walking. He worked in the hospital and he was um, delivering meals to patients, ironically. Um, And we believe that's where he caught uh, COVID. But we are here now and we are trying to stay positive. And I don't like asking you for anything that I can't give you something in return. But I hope that the the podcast has helped you enough and maybe you feel inclined to to help me uh, right now in my time. And the community has done a tremendous job. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been updating uh, you in my stories. I put a couple of videos out on YouTube, but this is the first time I'm coming to you in the podcast. So that being said, I will have the links. If you don't like GoFundMe, people have also been reaching out on Venmo and I will have that in the description as well. As you can hear, my voice is still very rough. I was on oxygen for seven days and there were could barely breathe. So you're going to probably hear that in the intros and outros of the next, I don't know how many episodes, but it is what it is. A lot of the episodes that are coming out were recorded before I got COVID. So that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I have a few ideas that I'm kicking around for the podcast, and I would love if you could give me your input. I'm kicking around the idea of doing an after party for each episode. So our episodes drop on Friday. And I'm thinking like Wednesday or Thursday, we have an after party and it would be on an audio only platform, it would be recorded, and then we could put it out later as an after party episode. And that'll give you the opportunity to join me in an audio only room and discuss the episode. How freaking fun would that be? I want to talk to you. I hope you want to talk to me. I mean, how many times have you listened to an episode and had so many thoughts and just wish you could talk to somebody about it? I know I want to talk to you about it. So hopefully you want to talk to me about it. So it's an idea I'm kicking around. If this is something that you would be excited about, that you would want to join, please do me a favor. I know it takes a lot, but shoot me an email, kathy at lssupport.net. I'll have that link also in the description. Um, And just let me know if that's something that you would like to do. And if it is, what days and times would work for you? Because I want to be able to have as many people have it accessible as possible. I'm going to shut up now because my voice is about to leave me. I don't do a lot of talking these days. But I did want to come and let you know that podcast is coming back next Friday. It's the first episode, November 5th. And I'm just excited. I'm so excited to be back. I wanted to come back the first week of October, but COVID had other ideas for me. (laughs) Listen, if you are not vaccinated and you're just waiting around or you're unsure please, 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 please do your research. And if it's for you, please go get vaccinated. This thing almost took my husband's life. It has completely turned our world upside down. My children had to have both of their parents in the hospital at the same time. Can you imagine how scary that is? Can you imagine how stressful that is for us to to know that they're in that position? And while we're battling for our lives. So believe me, 
whatever little side effects you get from the vaccine will be way better than catching COVID. It is not just a flu. Please. I get this question a lot. I had one shot. My husband did not. I do believe that one shot helped me to recover faster. He doesn't have any underlying conditions. I have asthma. Everything in the book says that our physician should have been reversed. So you just never, ever know. Please. As far as the nonprofit, I'm so excited about the work that we're doing. We're going to have two big projects uh, right now starting out. Our cornerstone projects, I like to call them. The first one is going to be a Check Your Vulva campaign uh, where we are just going to destigmatize checking your vulva and making it a part of your self care. Wouldn't that be so beautiful if we could remove the fear, if we could make it an experience that you look forward to every month and it helps you with early detection. It helps you with maintaining your vulva health and just to be able to do that in a beautiful self-care way. Also educating young women that this is a thing because 99% of us didn't know that this is something we should be doing. So we want to be able to educate our young people, let them know this is something you should be doing so that when they see something that isn't right, they get checked right away. And we have early detection of not just lichen sclerosis, but like in plainness and anything else that can happen down there and teaching them to advocate for themselves so that we get diagnosed way sooner than the five to 15 years, which is average right now. Our second program, and this is going to take a longer time to develop, but it is a cornerstone program, is creating an education base for providers. And when I say that, I'm not just talking about having a bunch of uh, research papers or links to, to research. I'm talking about creating a whole course on how to diagnose, how to treat, how to talk to patients when you are giving them a diagnosis, how to refer, what resources are out there for your patients and developing a whole course that the, when a doctor comes through our course and they go and see a patient, they know exactly what we need and they can give it to us. So we want to help create more great doctors like Dr. Kraft because we can't all go see her, but if we can multiply her, Hey, that's a win-win. And talking about Dr. Kraft, she is our first medical provider on our medical advisory board. So we are so excited to have her on board, to have her knowledge, to make sure that everything that we put out is evidence-based and medically sound, because we want to make sure that we're passing on the correct information for you. We're working on a new website. There's going to be a resources page. There's going to be a frequently asked questions page that'll have all of the basic information that you need for LS. And then there's going to be other pages with our programs and things like that. So if that's something that excites you, if that's something that you're like, I want to be part of this mission, please go to lssupport.net slash volunteers, fill out the form and let us know. Look, we are in need of a web designer. We're in need of people to help with clerical. We need help with everything, everything, bookkeeping, everything. We need help, okay? The more, the merrier. There's a job for everybody. 
We still have the provider directory that's going to be on the website. So there's so much. And this is just the beginning, you know? This project has started one way and it's in another phase right now. And guess what? In the future, it's going to be even more different. And because as we grow, things grow and things change. So I am so excited for where we are right now. We have a clear direction and we are motivated and we are ready to rock and roll. If you don't have the time to donate and you'd like to help us by donating monetarily, you can do that at lfsupport.net slash donate. That's going to be in the show notes as well. And we are all volunteers and we can use all the help that we can get because this is so important and our mission is to help you. All right, that's all I have today. I just wanted to come and share the exciting news with you. And I didn't want to, you know, tack it on to the end of an episode and go on forever. I hope you're excited because I'm excited. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.